Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back to the forest naval because there are six ship parts remaining and see if we can get a couple of them. I'm gonna aim for two to three this part. Preferably three. There's no way I could get four. This area is way too hard for me to get four in uh, one day unless I set stuff up ahead of time but then that requires me to have like zero parts some days and whatnot. Anyway, I'm going to get... Just trying to think of what I need here. I guess 30 reds. And then... The rest blues, I think. Because I'm not going to bother with the yellows and the bomb rocks. This part, I don't think. Everyone together. What I'm aiming for are... That ship part. That ship part and that ship part. That could be a little bit problematic, but I'm gonna see how things go, I suppose. I'm not gonna put risk to my team or anything like that. I'm just gonna do this in a nice, casual way. And Blues, first you guys get on here, and then I'll give you a little introduction to the Fiery Blowhogs, because I'm gonna be battling a ton of them. They have this flamethrower-like attack, but otherwise they are completely harmless to your Pikmin. Well, red ones at least, because they'll burn the other ones. Uh, the, the flamethrower can hurt Olimar, but it's really no big deal. Oh, and I'm gonna... Like, you can also attack while the Pikmin are attacking by punching like so. <laughs> and that may speed things up a bit. And I'm going to start throwing you guys on the Blowhawk in a nice steady stream, like that. Make sure you are well distracted. The, the biggest issue here are the amount of enemies that I'm gonna have to blast my way through in this time period, and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do that. So, I'm just gonna do my best, and I shouldn't do it like that. I, sh I shouldn't never have, when they're facing a wa like water hazard of sorts, I should never throw them on the fiery blowhogs when they're facing water, because water will drown the reds. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, Shearwig, please don't get in the way. But it looks like they're aiming for the Pikmin. <laughs> oh boy. I'll just leave you there. I don't really care all that much. You there. Turn this way. Thank you. Now, as long as they're not facing the water, you'll be able to battle them without any issues whatsoever. In fact, you could even leave your team to just battle them on their own. And come on. Come on. You can do it. I have faith that you can do this. There we go. I mean, that is what you are designed to do, basically. Oh god, the Wallywogs. I think I'm gonna tackle this one on the land, just leading him out of there. That jump attack, it squishes Pikmin, and it kills him instantly. So be careful of that. Just use a C-stick, swarm him, pull him off. Very quickly like that. Because if anyone falls like that, they might get squished by the Wallywog. No, stop attacking. Stop attacking. You're gonna get squished. Or not. Come on. Over here. Come on, buddy. No! Oh, I think a couple got squished there. Yep, seven of them. Dang it! That's fine, I guess. It's not, not that big of a deal. Because I'm not... I'm not too worried about the reds at this moment. I'm more concerned about the blues. Actually, because I'm gonna need a bunch of blues to uh, go in the water and set some stuff up. All right, keep going. I have faith you can beat them because you don't take any damage. Um, now that that's finished, where's my blues? Way back there, huh? No, oh. <laughs> glowing in the darkness. And now I'm going to go in the water. Hopefully avoid Wallywogs on the way there. Alright, now I'm gonna have them build this. Just go around this side, thank you. Just focus on... No, 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 I don't want you guys on this side, because you'll be squished by the bridge glitch. You, get on this. Yeah, you. I'm telling you. And that's pretty much all I can do right now. Um, I'm gonna try and lead these Wallywogs away, actually. Like, from away from the ship part. So I can speed things up a little bit. Come on. 
keep coming. This way. <laughs> While they're working on that bridge, basically I'm trying to multitask. Okay, that's good. And there's the other one on the other side, but I think they're almost done with the bridge. Yeah, they are done with the bridge. <laughs> now this is the gravity jumper. By manip manip manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump to super light speed. Good thing I found it. I'm going to plop them all on here. And they're going to go around in circles, but I just want to show you this little cutscene. The Pikmin that are carrying our spoils seem to be milling about in one place with their loads. It appears that their path back to the Onion is blocked and faced with what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle. They have lost their focus. This is unacceptable. I will have to determine what is blocking their way and do what I can to resolve this problem. And this problem is this bridge. So I'm going to plop them all on here. You guys, don't, don't go after that. Go on here. There you go. And while they're building that... Uh, I can't really do anything, can I? <laughs> uh, I suppose... Could, uh, that would be counter... No, I'll take it back. Fine, take it back. I was going to say that would be kind of counterproductive, but... Hmm. Just trying to think strategically here to get... No, fight! don't go after the Wally Wall. Go for the pellets. <laughs> and they're done with the bridge. That means I can get the other ship part back. The idea of clearing out all the, those enemies there was to um, make a nice clear path for all these ship parts to get back. Um, ooh. I don't have enough for the ship part down there. I need 40 for that one. And I know I'm going to lose some due to the Wallywog issue here. Oh, that's right. They go back to their initial spots. I forgot about that. Go over here. Come on. Nope. I might as well at least attack them to save a little time. Nope, stop attacking. You're gonna get squished. I told you. you should always listen to Grandpa Olimar. <laughs> Alright. Go around here. Notice that there's a little bottle in here. I still haven't explained the origin of this, uh, the, pick, the setting of Pikmin. Pikmin takes place after humans are extinct. So that's why you see a lot of uh, human-like objects and stuff like that around the area, because, yeah, there's no more humans to clean this stuff up, and it's just the wildlife nowadays. Oh, no, 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 no! Go! Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> that was the worst outcome ever. Well, I need 40 for this, don't I? It is the anti-dioxin filter. This fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out all disease-carrying agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel the world's better. Well, get on there, guys. And how are my... How, how is my team doing here? That's almost back to base. I should probably go back and get my forces back up, I suppose. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. My, Kind of lost here because of the dang fog of war. <laughs> yeah, the, the darkness I, I like to call fog of war in uh, real time strategy games. It just seems to be the bulk term for it. Yeah, you guys are still working on that, aren't you? Mm. And I'm gonna put. Oh, I gotta pluck these, that's right. Oh, but I should actually get all the reds out I can so that they don't. so I don't have to pluck them later. Just speed things up. Okay, put that back in the onion. Oh wait, you're not the reds, you're the blues! And cutscene. What do they have to say about this? Gravity jumper. This anti-gravity device allows the dolphin to swim gracefully through the sea of stars like... a dolphin. <laughs> I have now recovered 14 out of 30 parts. If I can just find 15 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Mm, where's the, where are the reds at? Well... Um... You know, the ones carrying that pellet? Oh, there they are. I'm just thinking... Is it worth bringing that pellet back? 
I don't know, because I'm running out of time, and it looks like I might only get two ship parts this part at this rate. Hmm. Because <laughs> I need more blues for that. I need reds for that, which is the boss. You know what? <laughs> Drop that, let's just go. Nope, nope, not the grass. Not the grass. Not right now, please. Thank you. What are you attacking? Oh, it's a steam jet. <laughs> Pikmin, you just never can trust them to do what you want. I shouldn't have hopped down this way, should I? Alright, let's go this way. And hopefully I'll be able to pull this off with what I have here. Because I need reds to take on the boss and get the ship part out. That's everyone's killed. That is delightful. <laughs> I'm gonna get a couple of blues on here. Get it past 40. You guys take it back. The whole the whole pathway should be cleared, so you shouldn't have to worry about any of the any of them getting scorched. Um. Oh, there's a couple of reds stuck at that dang junction. Um. Oh, jeez, Wally Wog. Oh, and Sheer Grub. Can I take it out with just this one? I'm just these three. Yeah, that works. I didn't want to lose any reds there, that's why. To separate reds together. And I gotta gotta divide and conquer here, so Wally Wog has gotta go down. Call it off! Call it off! <laughs> Such a risky enemy to take on. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Ugh. Dang it! <laughs> I'm really not sure if I'm gonna have enough to take these on. Yeah, no. The sheer wigs—they're flying sheer grubs. So whenever whenever they grab a Pikmin, they automatically kill them off. Urgh. Yeah, I'm really not sure if I'm gonna be able to take on the boss. That's the boss down there. I guess I could take it on with my team and then get the part another day. This is the puff stool. It seems like a pretty cowardly enemy, right? I'll put a couple Pikmin on it and pull them off. You'll notice that it's going to shoot some spores out. And those spores have the capability to change your Pikmin into enemies that attack you. Attack, 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 attack. Yes, flip it over just like that. Now throw them on the puff stool. Get as much damage on them as you possibly can. Oh, wow! That was spectacular! I found the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battered ship is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks rather cool. <laughs> and that puff stool gives you a lot of Pikmin, but I'm more concerned with the ship part here. Oh no. I don't have enough reds, do I? <laughs> As I said, it's, it's great that I was able to get um, the ship part out of him, because that's a pretty tough boss to take on. It's actually hard to call a boss. Because it's more like a mini boss of sorts. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. I have now recovered 15 out of the 30, 30 parts. If I can just find 14 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, you do not have enough. Dang it. <laughs> so, yeah, you need the reds because you gotta have them carry them through these fire jets. And that's an issue that I don't think I'll be... Oh, those reds stuck at the gate. Curse you! Curse you! <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time now to get that part back. I can at least have them carry it partway back, I suppose. Like, as far as they possibly can, at least. How many do I have? Eh... Uh. I forgot how many were on it. I'm just gonna, gonna get the rest as reds. Leave the blues there, grab the reds. Plot reds! As many as I can. Go, 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 go. Is there any stragglers around here before the day ends? Just wanna be sure here. Guess not. Alright, let's get... There we go. And no, 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 no blue there. No blue getting stuck outside of base. Not on my watch. And let's see if I can go back over to the beautiful mushroomy area. 
all the enemies are delightfully cleared out, so I can just run right through it now. That's the key to setting things up, is clearing out the enemies, because they're gone for a few days. And here we go. As I said, I'm still not all that concerned about the puff stool top here. But how oh, it only takes 10? Really? Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to get that, that back in time then. Well, no, it's too far away. But yeah, the puff stool, I don't remember how many Pikmin it gives you when you take it back, but it gives you quite a lot of Pikmin. I know that for sure. Um, it looks kind of like a portobello mushroom when it's all dead like that. <laughs> Probably purposeful actually by the game designers. And yeah, everything's cleared out. I don't really think I can do anything else other than save my team before sunset. Uh oh. Attack, 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 attack. <laughs> Distract these freaking things and kill them with Olimar. Yeah, I'm punching them with the A button. Come on, land, land, there you go. They recover their health in the air, I believe, but. When they're over water, they lose health because they can't land. They, like, tire out. And fall down. Come on. I'm just trying to kill them. Dang it. Well, I got that Pikmin past it, so that's all I wanted to do, really. It was just, like, distract the Shearwig. And... Wait, where you go? Oh, 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 oh. Why did you do that? Why did you... Why are you splitting the forces? Uh-oh. Uh, what? I was gonna say, are you stuck? No, but it wasn't stuck. Um, oh, I think they just separated because they weren't, um, they were too close together. And that one... <laughs> stuck! How? Yeah, I'm not gonna get him back in time, but I'm gonna leave that ship part there. It's, it's in a good position now. And this, I'm just gonna see how far they get. I don't think they're gonna make it back in time. And then I'm gonna lose the puff stool, but whatever. And call him back. There we go. End of the day! So I got two and a half ship parts because that other one is nearly back. Not too shabby. Woo! No Pikmin for you to squish, Wallywog. <laughs> I don't know what it gets out of squishing Pikmin anyway. I mean, it's clearly not eating the Pikmin, so I don't know why it it's even cares about the Pikmin. Seven days since impact. There are now only 15 parts that I still need to retrieve. Will I be able to recover the remaining parts in 23 more days? Surely there are some parts that are not absolutely necessary. No! This is a 100% run! No! No! No and no! All ship parts will be back! If my ship is not complete by day 30, the only way I will find the only way I will find out is to try to lift off. I just recall the day I took my son for a ride in the spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return. I must. I can already see the look of wonder on his precious face as I describe my adventures with the Pikmin. And you just see the curve of death. <laughs> and yeah, I lost more than I sprouted today, but that's because I was mostly focusing on uh, um, getting ship parts with the Pikmin than uh, sprouting Pikmin. But that's just how things go sometimes, I suppose. And with that, I'm going to end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back to the Forest Naval and see if we can get three ship parts today. It's prop. Really? 